Assalamualaikum and good morning. So for today's activity, we will continue with our previous lesson on handling menu item. So for the last lab lesson, we have learned about how to create a menu throughout the use of menu inflator. So for today's activity, we will try to handle the menu operation. So when you click on the menu item, the menu will do something. So uh, this lab activity will be divided into two sections. So for one section, I will demo to you about how to handle basic menu click item. So when you tap on the menu item, it will display a toast or an, a notification on your mobile application. And then for the second lab activity or the second segment of this activity, I will show you how to create another activity or to launch another activity okay, to display an about screen. Alright, let's uh, start with our first segment of our lab activity that is to handle a menu item. So handling menu item is uh, relatively straightforward. Right, what we need to do is to add on option item selected so you can go here and type public boolean on options item selected so you can type here menu item okay item and then here okay you have to import the menu item and then you type here switch and then item dot get item id okay to get the item id so when you have switch you must have case so case here is the id of the menu so r dot id dot all right the name of the uh, your menu id so to add uh, the menu id over here Okay, to know what type of menu ID that you need to use. So, you need to go to... You need to return the... the boolean. Because this is boolean, you need to return something. So, you can return false over here. Or you need to... You can return super dot on options item selected. Okay, main... Uh, and then item. So, only then it will not uh, create an error. So, just go to the menu, right, over here, and then look at the ID, menu ID. Click here, okay, menu ID over here is a uh, name of the ID. So, for the ID, you can type here, plus ID, okay, the name of the ID, you can put here search, okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so it becomes search. And then here you put the ID, okay, a new ID, okay, add plus ID slash settings. Okay, this is one uh, would be clear. And then double click here, you type here as plus ID slash about. Alright, okay. So when you click back uh, the, okay, sorry, uh, just mistype over here. If we set another about, uh, put a about menu. So if you it still haven't changed to about, you have to edit it through the code. So you have to eliminate okay the extraneous uh, string so that it just become uh, add plus id slash about. So when you click back here over here at the design, okay design and the code, okay it just bring about uh, okay writing as about okay then you go back here at the main activity right and then you type here case right you type here case okay and then you type here id dot about okay to handle about so you type here break first okay because we do not want to do anything okay and then uh, you would uh, 
Okay, then you put here r dot id uh, dot settings. Alright. Okay, and then type here break. Okay, this is just uh, example of the skeleton of the menu. R and ID. And then you find here search. Right, search. Okay, put here as break at any time. Right. Okay, uh, let's say that uh, you want to put in a notification. You can use a tools. Right, tools dot make text. Okay, put here notification. Contact this. And then try to import the tools so that we can get a hint. Tools dot make text. Okay, to put here this. Okay, comma. Right. Okay, this is settings. And then the duration. Okay, tools length long. Right. Okay, you can make here something like this, and then we can try and test the uh, em, uh, the application throughout the use of emulator. Okay, and then click on setting. Right. So why the tools hasn't uh, been uh, shown? Okay, this is because we forgot to type in to put another things. That is show. <laughs> okay. I forgot to put uh, show. Right click here. To show. And then setting. Okay. It uh, appear over here. Okay. This is settings. So and then you can copy this toast. Around. Right. You can change it to about. Right. This is about. And then this is search. Okay, don't forget to put in show over here. Right. Okay, and then you restart back the emulator. Right. Okay, then you change it. Okay, to become search settings. About. Okay, about. Settings and you can change it to search and then oh. right this is for the first segment of our lab session so be right back for the second segment for our lab session that is to create an about menu or an about screen for your own application. Hello and welcome back to the next segment. So for now, I will show you how to create an about screen for your mobile application. So you need to have a mobile uh, application screen to showcase your mobile application. So typically your about screen should contain your application name, the copyright holder name, and then the name of the author optionally, and then a simple text explaining about what your application does. And then sometimes your about screen should also contain the icon or the graphic set uh, of your application so uh, i'm going to show you how to create an about screen so to create an about screen you need to create a new blank activity go to the file and go to new and then select uh, activity and then go to gallery click gallery and then select empty activity Okay, I prefer to use the empty activity to create an about uh, screen and click next and then rename the activity name to about activity. Okay, right, take note of the layout name activity about 
and then the activity name about activity and then use the source language as java and then click finish right then you have successfully created an about activity so now go to the layout okay go to the layout and then you will notice that you have uh, about okay, dot xml okay, double click the about dot xml and then go to the code okay to verify that your you already have the uh, layout uh, xml file that has been already uh, created for you okay, you can change this to the relative layout for easy editing so we can change in this to relative layout so this is what i prefer to use a relative layout okay and then click back to the design but now you are using relative layout <clears throat> right okay first and foremost uh, what i would prefer to do is to create an image view so an image uh, to signify the name of your or the logo of your application so drag here image at the relative layout right so when you click here uh, you will be presented by the drawable okay either mid map or drawable okay select mid map select the launcher so this is the uh, application icon you can change this application icon to another icon so i will show this on the next video so you have to click OK and then ensure that you can uh, center, right? Center the image view. Ensure that you can center the image view. So if you cannot uh, center your image view uh, by dragging it, okay, you have other option that is to change its uh, layout gravity. So you can change it over here about the layout gravity. Okay, this is by changing its uh, rotation. So, but we do not want to change its uh, ro rotation, but rather we want to change its uh, gravity. Okay, you can take this as a center horizontal. Alright, take this uh, to be center horizontal. Okay, and then we have already found how to uh, make it um, center, right? Center over here. So you can also create a layout margin. So margin start, left, top, and bottom. Okay, you can create uh, the margin at the top uh, as 60 DIP, right? So that it will have a little bit of a uh, piece over here okay next uh, is to put in the name of the application so you can put here the name of the application over here okay this is also same goes okay uh, as the previous uh, uh, as the previous um, step so previously in Android Studio, so previously in the Android Studio, you can just drag the label at the center and then it will go to the center. But now you have to use the attributes uh, toolbar and then to center the uh, to ensure that the label to go under the image view so you go over here find layout below right so when you find the layout below okay you click here and then search for layout below right sign uh, search for layout below okay when you find here what you need to do is to type the name of the image view okay click over here 
right layout below image view and then press enter right and then the text view will be automated uh, automatically be aligned to the uh, below just below of the image view okay next okay you need just to align it to the center so how to align it to the center right just go to the layout center okay you go to the layout okay center horizontal okay so here you can have the name of the application just below of the image view so as for the uh, margin you can always change the margin okay click on the layout margin okay layout margin at the top okay at the top put a 16 dip 16 is really a standard uh value for uh the margin in android uh, application and then you of course you want to change the size so you can change the size over here you want to change the size of the name of the application okay next uh the text view okay you just uh, you would just have to clear out the name of the text and then put your add string slash app name okay just put your app name Okay, this uh, is the name of your application, my application. Right, my application. Okay, this is taken from Android Manifest. And then you can always change your Android uh, name uh, of your application at the strings. Okay, at the string file over here. So if you want to change your uh, my application to uh, my menu demo. Uh, okay, my menu demo uh, application right you can save over here or you can okay delete the my <laughs> entirely and then you go over here to the activity about right okay and then it will change the menu demo application so uh this is uh, relatively easy right change it at the string Okay, there are reason why you need to change it at the string instead of uh, you change it directly at the text okay one is because you want to do the translation and then another one because you want to keep a centralized uh, way uh, or a centralized location where you can always make changes to your application name and then it will change it over here right and then next uh, you can always create the copyright statement all right copyright statement okay same goes okay okay add a text view so below the text view right below the text view and then you can center it right and then you can type here add the text okay text view Okay, text here, copyright, okay, see your name, alright, okay, your name, so let's see that if I type in my name, okay, 2020, okay, sorry, copyright, uh, 2020, okay, type here, Hafiz, alright, you can type here your name. Or alternatively, you can also type this at the okay the correct way. Okay, okay you have will receive a warning hard coded. Should use string resources or the correct way, you should uh, copy this and then type it in the string file. So in the string file, you can retype this as string name. Okay, copyright. Okay, copyright. And then you put here the copyright over here. Okay, change this to 2021. And then you can go to activity about. And then you can type add string slash 
copyright okay select here copyright okay and then when you zoom in over here as uh right okay 33 percent zoom you can read it as okay copyright right and then next uh, thing you can also recreate another text view right and then you can copy it the the formula okay, the formula should be below lay out above and then lay out below so this layout should be below the copyright and then should be centered right and then you should set the margin so uh, because this is uh, another segment so you can write this uh, the margin at the top as 32 dip okay double than what previously okay, located okay this is text view but we want to write something about what this application does right okay you can write about here name okay about uh, about text okay it's a simple demo application to demonstrate the use of menu in android application right and then it written here is to replace the copyright with symbol c okay so the symbol c is ampersand hash 169 okay and then you just replace it ampersand hash 169 and then you put here you put here the semicolon Okay, let's see about the effect, right? It become uh, like this. Okay, why text view is over here? Because we haven't changed back uh, yet the text view. Okay, we haven't changed yet its text. So, uh, Android is very powerful. You can uh, change almost everything about its uh, appearances you should take advantage of, uh, of that okay, you put here add and then you put here string slash copyright or about text sorry about text okay then it is written like this okay you notice that it uses uh, up until the whole screen okay this is not uh, good uh, because a uh, user will have a hard time to read if it's not uh, it does not have a margin so you find the margin okay to ensure that you put a margin to the left and to the right of the text put here 16 dip okay to the left of the text and then to the right of the text 16 dip so if you do not have margin you can experiment uh, this later you will find that your application will be very hard to read right very hard to read all right for the next segment i will show you how to connect this activity with your main activity so that when the user click on the about menu it will be displayed with the about activity okay displaying uh, the information on your application be seeing you on the next segment hello and welcome back so, so to proceed to the next segment okay we just need to go to the application right over here you need to go to the activity okay to the source code of the main activity okay double click here so uh, you go to the menu item okay our idea about okay for now when you click on the 
already about it will display the toast uh, screen so we do not want this to happen okay because we want it to display the about screen so let's see over here so when you click about it will uh, display this is about so you want it to display the screen so to do that we have to go to the main activity okay and then you comment this all right okay you want to delete or just to comment okay and then you create an, an intent okay intent So you can create a new activity on the intent by typing this, attract this. And then look at the name of the activity over here, about activity. So you just retype it about activity dot class. Okay, should be simple enough. Alright, and then just start the activity. Okay, start activity intent. All right. Okay, that's all that is required. And then you just uh, replay it. Okay, rerun the app. All right, this is menu demo app. Okay, and then you click about. So your about app, uh, your about menu has been displayed. Okay, your name of the application and then your copyright right uh you realize that uh, the your menu has been uh, changed as menu demo app or the activities uh, name and then this is also has been changed over here okay has been changed over here okay menu demo app okay menu demo app okay this has been changed over here menu demo app you can also change uh uh many uh at any time the name of your application at the strings so menu demo app you can change it to another uh much more eye popping name like uh all right uh stinger okay you put uh, the name of your application as stinger so and then you replay back and then your application name is changed to stinger and then you put here at about okay you change also name change to stinger and then this is also changed to stinger right copyright is a sample uh, demo application to demonstrate the use of menu in the android mobile application okay press back you get to the main uh, application and then when you go to your drawer your application is replaced by the name of stinger all right okay i think this is all for today's uh, lab session okay be seeing you back for the next uh, lesson